All right, welcome back to my uh, S3 uh, image uploader series. This is video numero quattro. Um, I'm kind of making a video every time I add a, a significant feature. Uh, if you've watched the other videos, you know that you can only get into the site if you're logged in. You have to sign up. Over here. I already have a couple accounts, uh, so I'm just going to log in under myself. Right now, I'm not making sure emails are real. This is just a fake email address. Maybe that's something I want to do later. But anyway, I log in, and now I have a profile pic right here. And of course, it's going to say my full name that I used when I signed up. Um, so for this little profile pic, I've added, that's what this video is going to be, I've added a settings page. Uh, and so if you've watched the other ones, you know that you have a gallery. So you're able to upload, just to recap, you're able to go here to the uploader. You're able to choose a file. It's going to take a second to load up because I'm doing the video. But you basically are going to pick a file from your local file system. And after you do that, it's going to, you're going to click upload. It's going to go uploaded to your S3 bucket. And every user has their own folder. That I, I went over that in the last video. Uh, so, find an image. Let's see, that's a snake. That's pretty cool. Um... A lot of images here. Looking for something small, though. Uh, I think one of these is small here. Yeah, I think this one might be small. Anyway, get that, and then you just upload. Okay, it's not small. <laughs> and there we go. Definitely probably a larger file, but it's still got the job done. You go to your gallery, and things run a lot faster when I'm not making the video. But anyway, you've got all these photos now in your gallery. So you can go to the settings, and now you have a select menu, and it's just got the basically your email address and the name of the file that you uploaded in. You've got them all in a select menu, and now you just simply go, okay, I want to do hurricane, set profile pic, boom. You'll notice you have now have a new profile pic. Arizona climbing trip, set profile pic. That one doesn't want to let me set it. I'm not sure what's up with that. Because I can set it to that. I can change it to that. Maybe this one is such a big file. Or something with the spaces in it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it just took a second. So I'm messing around with that. Uh, I guess I might want to work on kind of maybe maybe being able to crop it or uh, making it look a little bit better in there. You know, most of them look pretty decent. I'm going off of going off the pics in the gallery. 
but clearly this one right here is the best to be a profile pick, you know, because these other ones would probably be better off if you cropped right to the person's head. But basically this one is the best and that shows up really well in, in that. But I mean, I have to look into some more things, but how did I do that? I used local storage. So if you watch the other videos, I am using Mongo. Uh, I'm using MLab, which is just a Mongo database to store the URLs of the photos. I'm using the AWS bucket to store the actual photos. But now I just wrote a little script that I just tacked on to uh, my Jade files. And basically, to summarize, I can I can move this out to a separate script that so it won't be uh, with this dot and just a, this is just like an inline script basically if you had open and close script tags on your HTML and I want to fix this up and bring it to a script that I load from 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 a file over here instead of an inline script so you can see with my let's see show you a little example right here so right here i load an upload script that i wrote to upload the images and i have it over in a file so i can do it like that too but basically i use this stuff right here to it's really easy just set items in local storage so if you go into developer tools and application and you go down here to local storage you'll see the URL for my website and yeah I had a I gotta clear that one out that was my first one I just simplified it to uploader and I have profile pick and you see it's set to hurricane 3 GPG and basically what this does through JavaScript uh, right here. So, okay, so I select selfie, set profile pic. Now watch this right here. Boom, changes it to selfie. So through JavaScript, you're able to set the local storage. And in the same script, you're able to set the attribute by getting a hold of this image tag. And you're able to set the SRC or the source of that image tag with your JavaScript. Um, and then you can make it parse the local storage and pull out this item as soon as any of these pages load. So when you go over to uh, your, you know, any of the other links, boom, it's there. And then when you log out, now you're using a page that doesn't have that same, it doesn't have that same template. In other words, that script is not there. So you will not see anything, which is what you want. And you log back in and there you are. So it persists, it persists through logging in, logging out. You can shut the browser down, shut the computer off. Next time you pull it up, it's gonna be there. Local storage sets it for eternity, I believe. And I believe you have a five megabyte, five megabyte limit on your local storage. So, I mean, I just, that's just a text, tiny little bit of text stored in there. You can store a lot of information uh, about users in there as an alternative to the database. My first intuition was to store this in a database, but there was a lot more involved. I had to, I would have had to communicate back and forth with the node application quite a bit to do that. And uh, this was just a much easier much simpler, much more efficient solution. And I can get into some of the code for that um, in a later video if people want that. And uh, that's all for now.